Right now, live from the cameras inside the Kentucky House in Frankfurt, it is the countdown to midnight. They are down to the wire in Frankfurt at this moment, with just an hour left of the 2021 session there with the General Assembly. Both the House and the Senate are still at work. And on this very last day possible, a bill limiting the use of no-knock search warrants in Kentucky is set to become a new Kentucky law. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us on the night team. I'm Doug Prophet. The fight to ban no knock search warrants began after the death of Breonna Taylor more than a year ago. As the night team's Tyler Emery tells us tonight, some like Taylor's family say today is a victory, while others say it just isn't enough. For many, the bill down to the name itself fell short of what they had hoped for. It's not named Brianna's Law for Kentucky, and it doesn't completely ban no-knock search warrants. But many say today was a win. Senate Bill 4 overwhelmingly passed the legislature. Senate Bill 4 is passed. With a 92-5 vote in the House Tuesday after passionate debate. Banning no-knock warrants, that's not the answer. Our society will never get better until we're allowed to lift up the name of Christ in the public sector again. Don't you dare ever propose to know what it's like to be less than, what it's like to be in a country that disowns you, what it's like to be lynched, what it's like to be raped, what it's like to be a nothing. Many say the bill's passage is a victory. Out of the tragedy of Breonna Taylor's death has come this good. It brings a joy to my heart. I've been able to uh, speak to uh, Miss Tamika, Breonna Taylor's uh, mother, as well as uh, Bianca, her aunt, and they are uh, happy and satisfied. Katura Heron with the ACLU of Kentucky, who fought alongside others for a statewide ban of no knocks, says it's still a win, but didn't get everything she hoped for. The, the biggest downfall for me is that it wasn't named uh, Brianna's Law. The NAACP of Louisville says it's disappointed the bill doesn't fully ban no knocks. But I think it is a step in the right direction. The bill limits no knock warrants to use in extreme situations like where there is clear and convincing evidence of a violent crime. It also requires police to wear body cameras in most cases and clothing identifiable as law enforcement. It's not a victory, it's a start. Some, like Representative Attica Scott, say it doesn't go far enough. I mean, it's something, right? It's not racial justice, it's not police accountability. There's still more to do, according to those even supportive of the bill who want to see more changes to policing. You go back and continue the fight. The bill now heads to the governor who is expected to sign it into law. For the night team, I'm Tyler Emery. The Kentucky FOP released a statement saying they appreciate the work on this bill and the amendments passed. A spokesperson says in part, we agree with checks and balances put in place to obtain a no-knock warrant, but we are pleased that they have not been abolished. Doing so would remove an important tool from law enforcement to protect citizens.